Hi everybody, my name is Liam and I work in Newcastle West Library. As part of this year's Ireland's Reads, I'm going to read a story to you called Ruby's Worry. Ruby's Worry was written by Tom Percival and published by Bloomsbury. Before we get started, I just want to tell you a little bit about this book, its meaning and how it might apply to you. So this is a book about a girl who can't get rid of a worry. Everyone worries about things from time to time and it can be very hard to stop. Even though we can't see our worries like Ruby can, they're here with us. Ignoring them can sometimes make them worse. So here's a few questions to ask yourself when you think you have a worry that's stuck to you. What am I feeling? Sad, angry, anxious, or all three? What could be causing me to feel this way? Who can I talk to about it? No matter what you're feeling, remember, it always helps to talk about it. Be open, be honest, and be you. So with that, we get on with reading Ruby's Worry. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. And she loved to explore wide faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby could hardly notice it. And then the worry started to grow. Each day it got a little bit bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring her over the cereal box. It was still there at night when she cleaned her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things she loved. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realise, but she was doing the worst thing you could ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Now the worry was enormous. It could hardly fit in the kitchen at tea time. It filled up half of the school bus. And it took up all the rows at the cinema. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about. And it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? It was. Ruby realised that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind, and as he told her the strangest thing happened, his worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing you could ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink, and he was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last thing that she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. And now that she knew about how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. The end. <laughs> Ireland Reads on the 25th of February.